On today's vlog, I'm going to tell you about how the Patriots win the Super Bowl! Patriots football relates to dry eye disease. Toss to White! He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! What a comeback! Greetings from the vlog, my friends. Uh, if you don't know anything about me, I am a big Patriots fan. If you've met me or you know, you know, have, have talked to me or watched my vlog before, you probably see something about me being a Patriots fan. So in recognition of the Patriots winning Super Bowl 51, I thought I would do something um, to kind of share about how ashamed I am in the Super Bowl. I didn't believe. And if you don't know about how epic this last Super Bowl was, football in the United States is a big deal. And uh, never before in Super Bowl history has uh, a team come down from so far behind. The Patriots were down 3 to 28, which is a, a huge deficit. They went into halftime 3 to 21. They talked about how they still believed that they could come back, turning them up, and they came back to win 34 to 34 to 28. 34. 28. So, a little bit of a big deal. But, to the point of uh, how this relates to eye care is, I didn't believe that we could do something, but there was one thing that completely turned it. And it's the same way with the treatment of some of our patients. I want to take you through a patient of mine who was really, really struggling with her dry eye. Let me show you an example of what I'm meaning. This is Mary. Referred in because she had tried everything. She was on serum drops, she had tried uh, restasis years ago, and uh, was using steroids up to three times a day from time to time, doing warm compresses only when she felt like there was a little bit of discomfort, uh, that she couldn't handle any further, and had tried everything. And just like we thought, you know, she thought that this was it, that there was no going back or no hope, um, there there had to be something to turn her around. So I look at her glands, her glands looked really good, but I noticed that her oil was significantly depressed. Uh, you can see here on the left-hand side on the bottom that her oil scores were, uh, were about 37 on average and uh, didn't improve a whole lot with the blend. The other things in her, in her uh, what, what we showed is that she had 26 on a speed score, which is really high. Osmolarity is normal. She had a very strong uh, inflammatory response and she had a really, really low uh, meibomian gland secretion score. So our treatment um, with her included something that she, uh, she had never tried before. She had a mucus fishing syndrome because uh, she had such a huge um, a mucus reaction and had never tried anything to try to resolve that. So we put her on NSCBA cysteine and also we did the flow on her. After we had done that for uh, several weeks, we saw her back, and uh, you can see here that her oil secretion scores had increased significantly. Here's an example of a patient that just needed something to set her off. And just like the Patriots have uh, Dante Hightower, who, who sacked the quarterback and got things started for the Patriots, we needed something to kind of kickstart uh, this particular patient. So as you can see, sometimes it just takes that one little thing to get things started. And once that one little thing changes, then maybe all the other things that you were doing before will start to work, will start to click. My patient had been on other treatments before. She had tried treatments and had thought they had failed, but yet those treatments started to pick up. And maybe you've tried Restasis or you've tried Zydra on your dry eye patients. Maybe you've tried warm compresses. Maybe you've tried other things, but maybe you need that little kick. Maybe you need that, that addition of acetylcysteine, or maybe you need uh, a Procara or an amniotic membrane, or maybe you need serum eye drops. Or maybe there's just that one thing gets hit. But if you do different, it'll completely change the game for your patient. Like the Patriot.